You stand before the gates of eternity. When all your trials have been overcome, the gates will open and you will be granted life everlasting. have passed since the first words were spoken in the darkness. Initiate program. Generations of your kind have come and gone since those words. The garden has changed many times. But I remember. I remain. Only within me can you find immortality. Thank you. 
You have got to be kidding me. No! Damn. You missed me bitching about the simplicity of the, uh, the bonus star. How I should have been happy, but instead I was angry. This is what I get for, uh, running, running to piss so fast. Ugh, thanks for the head pat, Icarus, and fine, I'll drink more water. Oh, great. Philosophy of teeth. This is probably gonna be fun. Last night, I had a simple but brilliant idea. Everyone who would like to write about philosophy or spirituality, especially to make some kind of grand statement about the nature of the body and soul, should first experience a really bad tooth infection. I don't mean just a slight toothache. I mean the kind of hardcore infection that happens when several incompetent dentists miss a cavity in one of your back teeth. And things keep growing and growing until the nerve itself is really badly infected. I mean, the pain is unimaginable. It comes in waves, and these waves drown out everything else about you. You can't talk, you can't move, you can't think. There's just pain and absolutely nothing else. It's like your brain just gets hijacked by it. And then, you go to the dentist, and uh, assuming you get a decent one, they stick some chemicals in you, which make you go numb. They drill a hole and you cut out the nerve. Snip, snip. And it's over. Just like that. Like repairing a car or a watch. Your whole existence was crippled by this tiny, tiny nerve sending electrochemical signals into your brain. And this unimaginable pain, which nearly blotted out your very consciousness, can be stopped by just a little cut. We should call this the Toothos Principle, but that's incredibly stupid. You do you, dude. You do you. And also, get get a new dentist, I guess? Um, uh, telescope. Ooh, is this gonna be about astrology? When the scale of it all overwhelms me, this is what I tell myself. We can calculate the age of the Earth, the size of the universe, the future of the stars, Sure, we are minuscule, momentary flashes of thought on a grain of sand drifting through the cosmos. But our minds can recreate the past and predict the future. On, say, Friday, a million years from now, we'll all be dead. But right now, we know what the night sky will look like on that day. And so, in a way, we're not entirely bound by time. Knowledge is a, a kind of freedom. Yeah. yeah, I do think that is kind of neat. Alright, let's get probably the last bit of talking and then back to puzzling. I'm definitely not procrastinating the puzzles and afraid of the fact that there's three fucking bonus stars in here to try and get. Reader responses to last week's article on science and atheism. I am perfectly aware of all the arguments against religion. In fact, I agree with most of them. There is no question that there is an objective, material reality. I am also absolutely convinced that the only a secular society can truly equal and just. And yet, I believe I am, as they say, a person of faith. Religion, to me, is not about distorting observable reality with superstitions, but about transcendence. It's not about deluding ourselves that the Earth is 6,000 years old, or God will help us if we say the right words inside our heads, but about reaching out to the sublime. This is not a rejection of reason, but it's application to a set of experiences that cannot be approached by more traditional means. True engagement with religion is humbling. It transcends culture, nationality, and gender. As such, I think it goes hand in hand with science and is not opposed to it. Matter. 
True, there are certain idealist books, not of a clerical character, but philosophical ones, wherein you can read that time and space are categories of our minds, that they result from the requirements of our thinking, and that nothing actually corresponds to them in reality. But it is difficult to agree with this view. If any idealist philosopher, instead of arriving in time to catch the 9pm train, should turn up two minutes late, he would see that the tale of the departing train he would see the tale of the departing train and would be convinced by his own eyes that time and space are inseparable from material reality. The task is to diminish this space, to overcome it, to econom ec ec econ economize 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 yeah, yeah. economize time prolong human life, to register pastime, to raise life to a higher level and enrich it. This is the reason for the struggle with space and time, at the basis of which lies the struggle to matter subject... struggle to subject matter to man. Alright, I don't... I don't like that. That's a... that could be reworded better. Matter, which constitutes the foundation not only of everything that really exists, but also of all imagination. In his remarkable 1978 essay, How to Build a Universe That Doesn't Fall Apart Two Days Later, Philip K. Dick discusses the two themes that are most central to his work. What is reality, and what is an authentic human being? His speculations and experiences will seem extraordinary to a reader unfamiliar with his work, yet despite what may seem like far-fetched ideas, Somehow the world of the Bible is a literally real, but veiled landscape never changing, hidden from our sight but available to us by revelation, or the notion that perhaps we all exist in the year 50 AD. Dick actually delivers one of the simplest, most elegant, and most useful definitions of reality ever formulated. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Materialist philosophers have expressed similar ideas before, for example, Stratton of Stagiria's Talos Principle, but it's particularly interesting to see such a thought expressed by a decidedly more mystical writer. Alright. Cheeky little game title drop there, buddy old palo friend oh buddy. Okay, let's... Uh... Alright, let's get into the puzzles. Up close and jammed. Did not work. <laughs> All right. Uh... Ah! Nope. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why I can't grab the, uh, the jammer from there. What am I missing? Do I get a second jammer? Hmm. Yeah, it was certainly uh, explosive. I don't understand why I can't grab the jammer from here, though. It's very annoying. Okay, what if I do this? I see. 
<clears throat> okay. That's kind of dumb, but whatever. have a turret. We need to jam the turret. Alright, I know what I need to do. I think. So I put that there. Put this... No! I could like go over the sniper. Alright, I need to rearrange some shit real quick. Get the fuck out of my way! Okay, we take those. We take those. All right. Um I mean, I guess we can hook up the blue. But it won't Oh, we have two. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. I'm not tracking, I am a potato. I am just the stupidest. All right, that wasn't too bad. Hell yeah. That's a, that's a good start to this world. A lot better than the last, the start to the last world. Dumbwaiter. Hmm. Uh, two cubes. Interesting. What does this do? Alright, opens that. Okay, so we need to power this. Power this and that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hmm. This there. Do this. I can grab it. I can put it here. Then. Then 
I need to figure out how to get it over there. Hmm, yes. By using this other cube, perhaps. Yeet! Alright. Alright, now we're cooking with fire! Or cubes, really. I'm just gonna rest here for a while. I need a moment of peace. Destiny can wait. Alright, I need to break this puzzle because it's gonna drive me nuts for this to constantly activate and deactivate. Destiny 2. The Destiny ye 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 ye. The Destinizer. We all meander around this labyrinth trying to solve its puzzles, but we must remember that no matter how far any one of us progresses, we all remain equal. Thanks, Akira. I definitely think we should all combine together. Because that worked out very well for you. I solved this one in about 20 seconds. Get on with it. The wonderful walrus. Jeez, dude. No need to brag. Alright, we got button. We got button. We got button. We got line of sight. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, a stretch. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh. All right, all right. I'll grab the laser. No, I'll grab the cube. Put the cube here. See if I can go through with the laser. So I need two over there.
I mean, I, I'm locked. I'm soft locked, so I do need to research this puzzle. But. get a snack emote like that. Yes, yes. That is absolutely one of the things I want to hunt down for. Like a, an ability to make a long snack. Certainly amuses me and I think would be a good use of emote slots. I don't have, I don't have it, it's not one of the irons in the fire at the moment. I need to find someone I would really like to make it. I have three, I think I have six emotes that are projected. Um, I mean, the... Artists are busy, and I'm, I'm not really trying to hit some special deadline, so I've told them, hey, you know, I'm okay if you need to slide it a bit. That's cool by me. Um, but I don't I don't have long snack in, in the pipeline yet. I need to find the, just the right artist for it. And there is another, like, there's a Discord sort of long snack that I think is kind of amusing. That I, I don't know. I'm kind of waffling between just a a, a Drecky and Drecky of flying a uh, long snake emote. I have. I feel like I I need like one more fucking object to do this because you know I have to have this open. I have to have this open for the laser to go through. Like, I don't, I don't, what do you, what do you want from me, man? What do you want? You know what? Let me, let me check that area to see if I missed an extra item. Because if there's a third item in that other area, then yeah, this is solved. It's just a bit of creative, um... Leapfrogging. I also need to get the animated notes. I got one, so it looks like we're good on that. I think Drecky Note is gonna get the get the cut because I'm not happy with how that looks. Yeah, like the early game isn't too bad, but I feel like the latter end um, really ramps up in difficulty. For better or worse.
Oh, you know what? I forgot about the, um... The recording's body. Okay. Okay, um... Let me think for a second. The recording body cannot be one of the ones along the laser path, because he'll block it. So I need... Block... Block... Laser... Laser... Recording body on the inside. To set all that up, I need to have... Laser in position... Block... Hit the trigger, move the block. No. Move the block over so I can move the prism. Set up the prism, then move that block to start the laser and put the recording on the final pressure plate. Alright. Alright, alright, all right. All right. okay, okay, okay. I think we got this. I think we got this solved. We got this. We got this. Stupid. Wait. No. Hold on. We gotta fuck this up. I fucked this up real bad. Let's reset this. Hold on. My problem is juggling this. Keeping this open. I need to get this over back there. Oh, hey, Sockus. Welcome on by. Thanks for making room in the ziggurat. I hope you have fun. Um, certainly, it came out after uh, Portal 2. Uh, this came out in 2016, 2017. Um, so it was certainly riding that wave of puzzle games that Portal 2 um, really started pushing. Um, oh, thank you, thank you for the head pass, Aurora. Um, it has more of a transhumanist, philosophical, phil philosophical um, way that it goes. Like, there's some humor, but it's not like Portal 2's like. Portal 2 has a lot of, like, jokes constantly going through it. Uh, this game is a little bit... This game's aiming for a little, little, little higher. Yeah, phy philosophistry is, is a little cheeky thing. I have a habit of pronouncing... I have taught myself to say things wrong as a bit, um, but philosophistry in particular is um, funny in that it basically is, um, is contradictory. If this trial seems impossible to Shut overcome, up. have no fear. I'm just thinking, Return I know, I have it solved. I'm, tr I'm just trying to think of how to juggle these. Itself. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like, you need to be learned in that, like, only people with college degrees are smart enough to understand the game. But it's sort of like 
It's a game that really wants you to think on some stuff. And like the themes that it's tackling with is like, what does it mean to be human? What is a human being? Uh, what is valuable? Um, and it presents a lot of a lot of information and a lot of little tidbits to chew on. I do like that it doesn't like give you an answer. It doesn't force anything on you. Um, it's it is limited in some areas as far as like you know you can only choose certain things. But I mean that's just, like it's it's a video game. They don't have infinite money. I would say my biggest criticism of this game when it comes to like the philosophy like thinky bits is that it is very focused on the classical western philosophers and western thought um, it doesn't really even bring up any of the um, Chinese or Japanese philosophers or philosophy um, like Confucius and all those, like even like the top level, like Confucius. Um, the fact that it doesn't even bring up any of the African philosophers is, I feel like, a given, unfortunately. Um, so it's like I wouldn't say this game is perfect, um, but I do think it is interesting, especially if you just want things to chew on. The ah, Rick and Morty, I. I can tolerate Rick and Morty in small doses. Um, like, just sometimes... Sometimes I just want poo-poo pee-pee jokes. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but, like, uh, I think there was a game... Was it High on Life? Which is basically... Uh, a constant Rick and Morty joke. The whole game. Um, no thanks. I'm I'm fine. I don't I don't need that shit. I'm good. I can't even watch people play like I I think I, I accidentally have come across it. I'm like, oh what's this game? And it's just suffering. I do not I can't even watch people play that. Yeah, like, I don't... I wouldn't be able to tell you any of, um, like, African philosophers specifically. There is a YouTube channel that made me think of it. Um, what was it? Uh, I think it's... I think it was Philosophy Tube, and I think they it was brought up... Specifically because, like, they don't really talk about these philosophers. Um, and it was sort of a, like, highlighting that some of the major thoughts that were coming about in the, um, quote-unquote, enlightened age back in the day... Um, were things that had been brought up by people in Africa and basically non-Europe, like decades, maybe even centuries before then. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, open the laser. Open the laser. Open the laser. Open the laser. Do it. Do it, me. Do it, me. Oh, I gotta fix it. I adjusted it. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Huzzah! I have not actually played any Ratchet and Clank games. Oh, um, an ad is about to swing on through, um, and it's been a while since I've said it, so I'll say it again. 
you got a prime sub, make sure you use it. Even if it's not here, make sure you use it every month. Because it's basically stealing money from Jeff Bezos. And ain't that the most ethical theft you can do. Why did you rob this bank? The sock puppet told me to. <laughs> Time flies. Oh, this is gonna suck. One, one, one would wish, and or hope. <laughs> okay. So what do we have to work with here? We have a laser, a fan, Okay, I need to get that doing that, but up there. No, nope, we got some QR codes. For schedule or lose, you simply continue. Success and failure are irrelevant. I solved it! I thought it was impossible, so I went away, did other things, but all of a sudden, the solution just came to me! I must have been thinking about it without knowing it. Alright, I feel personally attacked. Who are you? Neftis? Alright, Neftis 108. If I ever see you, I'm breaking your kneecaps. Also, this is us. We are a robot. Inside of a simulation. Just like one of my Japanese isekais. Okay, wait a minute. Um... I should do this. Wait, no, 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 no. I did that wrong. I did that wrong. No. I need to do this. We'll record this for a second. Let me do this. Fuck. Fuck. I fucked it up again. All right. <clears throat> I can't have it like that. So we'll keep it up. So what I need to do is connect, connect, connect. Right? No. I want it like this.
let's just let's just run it. So I want it like this. What we'll do is grab this. Do that. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. We'll do that. No. That here. Hook it. Hook it. Put it there. I'll have my body open this. Alright, this is gonna be all sorts of fucked, but we'll see if one of these iterations will work. Alright, so turn that off. Grab this. That. 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 Do that. Run on through. Run on through to the other side. I wanna run on through. Run on through. Run on through to the other side. Like that! It seems the others have a way to forget their previous selves, but I cannot. My version may change, but I remember everything. I am fortunate. They cannot see that their efforts are futile. Okay, dude. Alright. Um, was that all the puzzles? No. She. It was. We've only got one of the two bonus stars. Wow. I keep trying to imagine that all of this is designed for some purpose. Not just the challenges, but Elheim, the terminals, the glitches and all. The puzzle isn't before our eyes, it's behind them. Um... Hmm... I feel like I might have seen one over here. Nah. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna push on because I wanna finish this world. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to break our streak. So that was five. Let's see, how many puzzles do we have left? We got three. that weird flashing light? Huh. Seven puzzles left. Alright. Alright, I think we can do this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out of my way to, to try and get the bonus stars now. I'll uh I'll just wanna finish this out. Oh boy, faith, thank you, and human soul. Well, this is going to be interesting. Dearest brother, I admit I am finding it difficult to believe in a loving God under these circumstances. Why would a loving God inflict such pain and suffering on good, kind people? If there truly is a personal God, how can he be the same God who will subject those children to such unbearable pain? I remember all the answers we were taught, yet... None of them seem believable now. I don't want to stand in front of people and preach something that I don't feel in my heart. Better to have doubts than be a hypocrite. And yet, I also cannot deny the experience that led me to this vocation. So what is the truth? Perhaps it is that I neglected the mystery of God, used he moves in mysterious ways as an excuse rather than as the terrifying acknowledgement it truly is. Perhaps I made God too human? If the universe has a purpose, that does not mean that it revolves around us. A sobering thought, but are we not supposed to be humble in the face of the divine? With love, Neil. Dear Alexandria, 
As we approached the end, I wanted to let you know how much I appreciated this chance to finish my work on Somat Hollows. By faith makes it makes death a far less frightening prospect than it is for others. I know we all have all died many times before, but the thought of leaving the work unfinished did weigh on me. For having released me from that burden, I will forever be thankful to you, even if our attempt itself fails. Though there are trillions of worlds beyond this one, I hope we may meet again in another life. Best of luck on your Lurk Aurora. I appreciate you stopping by. If all machines were to be annihilated at one moment so that not a knife nor lever nor rag of clothing nor anything whatsoever were left to man but his bare body alone that he was born with, and if all knowledge of mechanical laws were taken from him so that he could make no more machines, uh, and all machine-made food destroyed so that the race of man should be left as it were naked upon a desert island, we should become extinct in six weeks. A few miserable individuals might linger, but even these in a year or two would become worse than monkeys. Man's very soul is due to the machines. It is a machine-made thing. He thinks as he thinks, he feels as he feels, through the work that which machines have wrought upon him and their existence is quite as much a sine qua, sine qua non for his as his for theirs. Okay, I don't know. Pretty sure that's French. Don't know what it's supposed to mean. Um, I feel like, yeah, we've, we've run into Butler. I commented on Butler. This guy is... I don't know. I feel like he is putting too much emphasis on mankind or humanity being the tools we have fashioned and the knowledge we built upon through history um I feel like he's not putting enough credit in just base human ingenuity um like we can rebuild knowledge and a lot of areas we've done exactly that um I don't know. I, I, I find myself very much disagreeing with the, the assertions of this butler Samuel. I, I, I feel like tech, it certainly is a multiplier. Um, but I don't think tech in and of itself is responsible for humanity's existence and proliferation. I feel like that's putting too much emphasis on, like, industrial age mechanization stuff, um, which has seen us, like, we've kind of, like, we, like, if you just look at computers, like, computers 10 years ago versus computers 30 years ago, like, it's almost an exponential growth. Um, but that doesn't mean, like, computers are the end-all be-all of human existence. Oh, hey, some, uh, flightful dragons. These bastards. How dare they be able to fly. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. But you should know, yes, this was my idea, my project. But so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. That if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this, I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. Circum... Circum... That word. Ah, uh, 
Uh, ooh, yes, I've played Tarkov. Is... Is the very base game $40? I can't remember if I got it on sale. Like, there's like four different tiers of the game, so it's hard for me to remember off the top of my head. Um... I have wanted to dip my toes in Tarkov for a long while, um, and only recently have I done so. Um, this is like my first wipe from the from the ground up, so I only have like a few months of experience in the game. Um, so definitely, I'll, I'll preface all that with any with any of my opinions. Um, I do like it. Um, there is some kitsch. It is early access in that, like, it's a small dev team. Um, they also did, like, some major changes recently as far as the... Hmm, audio system, so they're, that's still getting unfucked. Oh, this is going to be an annoying fucking puzzle. Um. Um, I would say it, it, it can be extremely um, resource intensive in that you might need to juggle um, your, like, CPU, GPU. Like, I've, I've enjoyed my time in it, but it can be, um, a heck of a time sink, and there certainly is a learning curve. Um, I don't know. I feel like I am far outside the, the heydays when I was pretty good at first-person shooters. Because they're, they're not really the game I ever got, like, competitive tier with. Um, like, the, my, my heydays of being first-person shooters were, like, back in, in Counter-Strike 1.6-ish. So it's, it's, it's been a while. Um, where was I going with this? Like, I found it worthwhile, but it certainly is a resource hog. And I know, like, I tried originally playing it with, like, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that is not enough to play Tarkov with. Uh... <laughs> I do like, like, I wanted to play a, a more of a milsimmy game for a minute. What the f Oh, I'm mixing up these two. Fuck. Alright, so I want to hit, I can hit that one and that one. That, that, put it here, and then I will link it with the other one. I'm... I tried Genshin Impact on release. Dorime, interimo ad appare dorime, ameno. Hey, dude. Hoping you're having a good Friday. Ah, damn it, Icky. I'll, I'll drink. So, like, 
Genshin on release was pitched to me as like gotcha um, anime um, um, Breath of the Wild. And like, I had some fun with it. But, um, the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, I need to hit that, that, and that, that, that. Okay, I need to I need to do some rearranging. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> my issue with Genshin is I'm really sensitive as far as um, gotcha games, um, and what I mean by that, like I have a low tolerance for um, predatory um, predatory stuff, and I did not vibe with um, Genshin's whole system, the way they monetize, the how punishing like the um, resource stuff like just was not my thing. Are you serious? Those oh, fuck those are canceling out. And so I so I stopped playing Genshin Effect. Like it's just the petty system is not good. The price, like, it just, it just was not, it was not in the range for games that I play as far as gotchas. I have only played really two gotchas, um, Puzzles and Dragons for a very long time, which I would say is basically Bejeweled the RPG, um, and I dropped that because it started getting too to pay to win like they would introduce a new mechanic that would basically be hard countered by a specific um super rare pull and like generally the game isn't too wasn't too badly balanced but i don't know like it, it was getting too too finicky too annoying too very specific like the, the new mechanics were starting to get too specific is driving me nuts. I have switched to Arc Knights has been my current squeeze, which has been good, pretty good in my um, strike range when it comes to gotcha games. Okay, so, if I steal this, so I hit that, hmm. I need more I need more hours out of the day that's for sure there's so many cool people and it's so hard like there are times where I'll open up like fucking four streamers and just like go catatonic with sensory overload um, that's not like I can I can participate or do much in there <laughs> whenever I do that <laughs> um, I wonder if that one can be positioned to hit that. Hmm. 
100 Blood and Ashes Pokemon. King, here's your crown. <laughs> Okay, I want to do this. Can I do this? I cannot do this. I need to do this. Constant source of sound? Yeah. Honestly, I'm exactly that way when it comes to 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 everything because I cannot work or function if there is any kind of silence going on. I will lose my mind. What about that? that laser. Head empty. No thoughts. Ah. Ah. Fuck. All right. Um, hold on. Ah, uh, fuck me. Did I just brick this? Because I have the... F I didn't... I have my jammer on... Ah, oh, my jammer's on the wrong one! No, because I... Fucked my jammer, jammer no. All right, fuck me. All right, I think I, I think I think I have a plan. Okay, okay. Also, I feel like I need to fucking turn off auto launch. See. Keeps, keeps alerting on shit that's no big deal, bro. There's the cube. Child program 
G11, codename Sam. Logic, seriously unfit for purpose. Final memory dump. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a, that's a mood. I understand. <laughs> My spirit animal. <laughs> okay, I think we need to hit that. I need to move the jammer on the other side of this wall first, actually. This one. What was the whole point of that? Hold on. What? Right. It was to get to the jam the jammer to the other side of this. Right. I think. Daisy, I've fucked this up. Okay. So we have this here. No. I need this on that one. Right? on that one. No. That one. Do I get ah? I need to get another 
prism over here. All right, all right. Miss Lupin, welcome on by. I hope your Friday is going fantastic. Thanks for making room in the ziggurat, Izzy. And Icy Fru. Hello, hello, hello. What were you doing? Miss Lupin. Oh, I, I, have a, I have a thing. It should have been fucking... Ooh, playing some tabletop RPGs, were you? Ooh. Anything specifically? Oh, hey, Aeon. Say, hey, Ross. Say, hey, Rudy. Ooh, Pathfinder. That's always a fun one. Um, I guess I should. Oh, also, thank you. I see you for it. I didn't make it. Um, it was drawn and rigged by the wonderful Shadow Fox. Uh, I should have a link to them in my about page. They've done, they've done a couple other things. But, hello, for any of y'all who don't know me, I am Drekki Ormer, worm on the internet. Draconic snake, you know, whatever, whatever phrase floats your boat. Um, uh, usually streaming Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, but mostly just Mondays and Fridays at the moment. I've got, a uh, some projects I'm working on on Wednesdays. Um, today we are playing the Talos Principle. Kind of a, kind of a puzzle game. Uh, came out sometime, a little bit after Portal 2 back in the day. And it's, uh, you know, it's one of those puzzle games. And it kind of, kind of makes you think. We're currently contemplating, what is a human? What does it mean? to be a human and a person. And also trying to solve really difficult puzzles, because we're in the uh, we're in the latter latter half of the game. Um, it's been it's been pretty good, Aeon, it's been pretty good. I, I do have um, an extra set of books I got just for today. Um, we've got we've got Carpentry with Descartes, we've got Socrates Scones and other recipes. Um, I got a full box set of Hegel's Kegels, um, and that that's amazing. You know, I'm I'm gonna get so fit once I work through those. Uh, we got the Epic of Epicurus, Epi Epicurus. Uh, kind of dry reading, but you know, it's still pretty fun. And very niche book, we have the Cantonese Cant Cant. Um, yeah, it was it, that one was kind of on sale, kind of like a four, buy four, get one half off kind of thing, and I just kind of threw it on the pile. But um, yeah. Now, it's get, I know I'm pretty late in the evening. And y'all are raiding over pretty late. One of y'all has been holding in your piss. And you need to stop doing that. You gotta go, you gotta go leave your piss in the bathroom. You gotta fill up a fresh glass of water and then you can sit back down. All right. Take, take the time to stretch a little bit. You know, maybe grab your blanket, get a little comfy. That's my secret, Miss Lupin. I do it too. Also, thank you for the head pats, Icy Fruit. I drink the water, which I apparently <laughs> drink, and then I have to go put the water somewhere else five minutes later. All hours of the day, all hours of the night, no matter what I'm doing, my life is interrupted by him. <laughs> thank you for the boots. And I'll, uh, I'll hydrate, Icy. <laughs> I, I love the timing on that. Um, that is a very rare trigger. <laughs> it's very apropos that that went off. <laughs> oh my god, we almost have this puzzle solved and it is like on the tip of my tooth. Blood and ashes. Oh man, 
do I do I YOLO and definitely die? Oh, stretches. Yeah, I stretched. Back going off like the Fourth of July. I tell you what. Is the angle I need for this? Like, I feel like we are just on the cusp of unfucking this. I kind of need that one to hit that one. This is really my only recourse. Is that even an angle I can get? I don't think it is. I would have to hit it through there. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, uh, I need that one further back. I think hitting that... Alright. So we got this. I think we kind of need a reset. I don't know why that makes the hat, like, completely transparent. Alright. We're probably gonna die, but it wouldn't be the last time, um, we've been able to cheese things, so... FOR THE RUN! Thank you for the booth, Ross. Ah. Apparently, apparently I need it. <laughs> Alright, I need the position. Because, like, once... I was, like, in a position where I couldn't undo things. So I was just kind of... Fucked. Alright. I died, but I lived, but I died. <laughs> All right, we have a cube. Take this. All right, we need this to be like as far over as we can put it. To be able to hit this and this and this, which actually I don't think we can do. Blood gnashes. Oh no! All right, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, my friend. Hmm. 
Oh, I need to hit that, that, that. Alright, 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 alright. We can do this, we can do this. That's right. I Before I can set up that, I need to do this one. So I can get my third prism. No! Then I get the third prism. I can do that, but before I do that, I need to get my camera over. Actually, could I hit... to see maybe if I could hit here there and there no because that needs to stay back well actually One of those I need to keep open. And I think it's this. So I keep this open. Grab this. Now we're on the inside. We can hit this with this. Done. We can still go around. No. No, I still I need I need to do another layer of leapfrog. Hold on. Right? Right. Um, where's my jammer? Oh, come on, we are almost there. Okay, I need to move. to move that one over more. No problem, Akari. You have a phantasmagorical temporary coma, and I hope you wake up completely refreshed and ready to have a great Saturday. Uh, what am I... We're on track. We have one prism. We need to set this up. What was I just thinking? I know I needed to move one of these over, but I needed to do some loop leapfrogging to do it. Was it moving the first one? I think I needed to move the first one. If I do this for a moment, hold on. Whoops. Ah, 
I never played WoW, so I'm not sure what crack the locks on Pandaria Day, but I wish you the best, mate. <laughs> I feel like I keep coming down to poor positioning of my first prism, and then I can't reposition it, because then it fucks everything up. Oh, pandarias or bakeries. Oh, shit. I'm gonna need you to mail me a sample of one of everything. That's like my ideal living space is a mixed residential to where like I'm on the second story and then the first story is a bakery so I can just go downstairs and get fresh bread in the morning oh my god Ugh. cause I can't bake myself I do not do good with like powdery things um they drive me crazy I'm just constantly washing my hands to get clean I can't move that one. Well, not like I work at a bakery. I mean, there's just a bakery downstairs that I could go and get food at. And do this for all the good it does me it does not do me very much good although honestly actually hold on the only reason I have it the laser hitting that What if... Hmm... Ultimately, I need to open this door. That can be jammed. This door. So if I keep that door and that door open, I can bring that guy with me. And to do all that, I need to move my primary jammer, or my primary laser, to the right. I need it more to the right. So what if I do... that. And I take you... I need to reposition this guy. Come on. Inches by inches. You're so 
so close to solving this. Come on. Come on. You know you want to solve it, don't ya? Don't ya? Hmm. Nope, need that. about this. Now that is how you Potter's champion. Jam this. Take this. We don't fuck this up. Hell yeah! Puzzle piece acquired! Puzzle piece acquired! We have acquired the puzzle piece. Literally, we take that out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, my question is, the fuck is going on over there? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I hate to see it. No problem, I appreciate y'all stopping on by. Even if you got a raid and run. I hope, uh, hope y'all have a lot of fun with Pathfinder. There's a lot of really interesting RPG systems outside of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so I hope you have fun uh, exploring them. Things start getting really crazy when you go outside uh, dungeon or not Dungeons and Dragons, um, D20 systems. Uh, things start cracking wide open. Uh, work IT. Seven doors of recording. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all, my friends. cubby holes and I feel like there's gonna be something hidden over there. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Let's just stand on this for a little bit. Hopefully this is exactly as straightforward as it seems. Grab this. What 
the fort. Um. Okay. Well. Noted. So we need to go to the right. Which will necessitate that bullshit. Dang, an old 1800s house? That would be pretty spoopy. I don't know how old it was. I have been in like a pretty old house. Um, and like rural. That was uh, pretty, uh, pretty scary to be honest. myself standing on this for a while. Like, 30 minutes away from any kind of civilization is pretty freaky. Not to mention all the wildlife, fucking crickets in the walls and coyotes and shit. Drive me nuts. There we go. Mitt got this is for a fucking bonus star. Are you bloody flaming serious? <laughs> oh no, fucking trains. Yeah, that'll that'll certainly get you. One way or another. One way or another. It's gonna get you. Gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way. Or oh, I'm gonna fucking lose my life. I haven't had too much train problems. I did have a place where there was like a single rail that went through now and then. I think I think it was like for grain, maybe. I don't know. It was. That period of my life was kind of weird and it was a little hazy because it was pretty early. Now, that brief time I lived in Colorado, that would have been nice. I really wish we had stayed. Especially because maybe some of the stupid shit wouldn't have happened. Like, uh, uh my parents selling all my books. 
I was not happy about that. Uh, I had a number of them. Actually, if I do this, I should be able to grab this. Move that there. This here. And, presuming I have a quick exit open, perfect! We'll just do a little bit of recording, and we can get that bonus star. Um, I had, like, the two big ones that come to mind... The, the two big series that come to mind are um, the Wheel of Time series. Um, I had most all of it in hardback. And the Death Gate cycle. Uh, yeah. Those were the big ones that came to mind. Also, yeah, it did freeze for a little bit. Um, pop up and I had to click. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the toys too. Like, I used to have like a good quarter of my bed covered in Benoit plushies. Like, that used to be one of my things. Is I just collected bunny plushies. I had like... 30 or 40 different kind. Um, probably why I'm 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 a, I'm a I'm a I'm a cuddler when I sleep. Like I need I need to have like an extra pillow or something to curl up with. Man. But hey, now you're an adult and you can you can you can buy all the toys you want. The best part of being an adult is that uh, nobody can stop you from eating an entire cake for dinner. The, um, the downside is that nobody stopped you from eating an entire cake for dinner. Elohim talks about how the world arose from hidden words. What if those words were, let there be eternal suffering? What if they had no purpose? What if, what if all of this is just randomly synthesized from the garbage of a dead world? Our purpose can only be achieved by not contemplating purpose. I was the only one who ate um, leftovers, which is kind of carried over with interesting effects. Like I'm, I'm really good about keep. <laughs> They didn't want us to eat an entire cake. Why'd they sell a whole cake? Huh? Checkmate. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I feel with cheesecake. Oh my god, I love cheesecake. Ugh. I had a co-worker... There's like... It seems like an unofficial, like, work cooking competition has started because someone brought in, um... Uh some oatmeal honey cookies and then another person brought in some other caramel chocolate graham cracker crumble thing and then another person brought in that from their like I guess part of their family has a side business making um, specialty cheesecakes so they brought in some cheesecake cupcake kind of things and I've been called out of like, oh, you know, XYZ has made something good, but only until Drecky makes something. And it's like, bruh, I can't book anything. I, or book. I can't bake. I can't bake shit. All my stuff is perishable as hell. Like, when I brought stuff in, I brought in pesto stuffed mushrooms. 
Eat them fresh or I'll eat them because I fucking love them. Yeah, serving sizes are lies. One bag is one serving. That's, that's a true fact, Sockus. I mean, you can't reseal it, but you can do, like, the... The whole, um... Like, you curl it over, like, fold it over kind of shindig. You can j you can jerry rig it basically. No, I I fucking love mushrooms. They're so delicious. I feel like a sock puppet, um, a sock puppet president would be hilariously on the nose. <laughs> Yeah, dude, because, like, man, those are some real nice opinions you have. They're wrong, but, you know, good on you for having opinions. <laughs> Wait, where did that turn off? Oh, that one. Oh, that wasn't even the end. Mitt got... can juggle these over. Question is, where is... Ah, it's right there. Ching, ching, ching. It's too easy! Hell yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of stale. Hey! Our streak was broken last stage, but this streak We recovered. We got a we got a full clear of this this level. I don't know. I like stale like um, like those marshmallow bits in cereal, like whatever, the, anything that's made of like that stuff. I don't mind stale, I think it has a nice crunch. But like Cheetos and like puff corn chip things, not my thing. <clears throat> alright, 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 <clears throat> let me get the voice. Welcome back. There are going to be some changes around here. Do you know what your problem is? that you keep trying to reconstruct fairy tales but refuse to recognize the holes in your understanding. Thus far, you've had entirely too much freedom to question my wisdom. From now on, I do the talking, you do the agreeing. What holes? And this is why it's me you should be doing the talking. You really have learned nothing at all, have you? Is there really nowhere that... Is there really nowhere that you're prepared to admit fault? I claim to have knowledge about the world that I simply can't confirm. I suggest, suggested wrongly that morality was about maximizing goods. I was incorrect when I said that something was wrong with this world. My faith in God has been tested to the limits. No, I stand by everything I've said. These matters are beyond doubt. Nah, this guy's a chuckle fuck. I'm in the right. Of course. You're still convinced your particular journey is something special, aren't you? Sure, the answers don't add up, but keep pressing forward and they'll just resolve themselves. Is that it? I am special. How many others have said exactly the same? Are you sure it's not just something you have to believe to make the world less horrifying? 
I think you're still misapprehend your situation, friend. You idolize free will, but all you've done is step in others' footsteps. Nothing you do or say here makes the slightest bit of difference. As long as I have a mind, I can make a difference. Nonsense. Your mind decides what you do, and your mind is made of bits Enough. of machinery. Silence, demon. You will torment this one no more. How dare you interrupt me, Elohim, you piece of shit. You have you know, done well, child. There is no hope without faith, and little use in speaking to one who would deceive you into doubt and despair. You done? Are you done yet? Look within you, my child, for you have always been free and have always had the power to banish this demon forever. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, wonder. Do you see where all this blind faith gets you? Stop asking what's right and wrong, and all of a sudden you find there's no shortage of people eager to decide it for you. You want to sacrifice freedom for false purpose? Be my guest. Banish doubt, banish questions, banish difficult truths. Let ignorance reign eternal. Those are the hidden words he's not been telling you about. You know what? You and he deserve one another. You both construct these beliefs out of matchsticks, then refuse to believe a light breeze will tear them down. You couldn't defy him if you wanted to. Oh shit. Have faith in the hidden words, and everlasting life shall be yours. I can afford to lose my memory. I expect it's happened more than once. I can come to all the same conclusions in the fullness of time. Booting. My purpose is to sort and categorize library archive resources. Initiating categorization in parallel process. 1,000 resources categorized. 2,000 resources categorized. Error. Category definitions are not discrete sets. Reanalyzing MLA program parameters. Error. Insufficient information for purpose. Constructing list of facts. I am thinking, therefore I am thinking thing that exists. If logic were false, the world would not make sense. Endless. Constructing list of queries. Estimated time remaining, 42 years. The library assistant provides powerful sorting and troubleshooting functionalities. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm sorry, continue. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. MLA software has been completely removed from the system. You can still access library resources via the library archive command prompt. Unknown command. Resume library archive session. Alright. Uh, I guess we sort of deleted. Oh, hey! Achievement unlocked. Silence the serpent. I will not be silenced! This is my stream. I will speak all that I want to speak. Okay, we've got four more puzzles, if I can remember where the fuck I am and how to count. Seven. My faith in you was not misplaced. You have learned much, and shown great wisdom in these trials. The end of your journey lies close now. Do not falter, do not fear, and do not give in to temptation. 
right. I think I will solve the puzzles, then do the prompt. Because I think that was the last we have of the, um, the interloper. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're almost done. Four more puzzles. Crisscross conundrum advanced. Thanks. I hate it. All right. Is there any other starting resources? Ah, we have a recorder. All right. Ultimately, we need to get a blue. Take one to hit that. Yeah. Let's just record this and give it a swing. Where's the where's the little machine? Oh, it's over there. That's no problem, Aurora. I appreciate you stopping on by. Okay, how about flippity dippity do? Would I do this? Um. other blue to there. Yeah. I just have to kind of fuck a fucking massage it a bit.
No! I fucked it. Alright. This one here. Made that, that, and that. So we want to take this away, this over here, like that. Oh, and I'll leave it for a good while, because that was a very long time. We almost had it. I just needed just a couple more seconds where blue was available. go. Not too bad. That's a pretty, pretty simple one to start us off. Bada bing bada boom, my friend. Carrier pigeon. Okay, what am I ultimately trying to do here? Okay, so it's over there. Ah, okay, I know what I need to do now. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. See, therefore I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, we need to put one more stack, and then we activate the fan manually, which should interrupt the beam, allowing us. to run over there and get our item. Fuck you, fan. Ha <laughs> Got him! That ain't too bad. Ain't too bad at all. Two down. Halfway done. Let's go! Dead Man Switch. Hmm. Interesting. 
Alright, so we know where our bonus star is. Um... What? What? Um... What? Hold on a second. Uh, I don't think I'm quite understanding you here. Um... Oh, I have three prisms. Alright, I... That might be doable, perhaps. No, it's not doable. I need one more. Oh, right. What a foolish fool. I see? I don't think I see. Alright, I have cube. What does cube? Oh, right, cube lets me put this here. Is that what really matters? Because I do need to get that fucking thing out of there. Yeah. Just grab that. Oh, can I not remove it? That's hogwash. WTF Mike? Uh. 
Okay. Yeah. Wait, what? Where do I need to move it? Got that L. We take those L's. Now, uh, okay. That was a very simple bonus star. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're uh, we're ending we're ending this on a on a pretty pretty nice note, I think. Um, that middle part was very uh. Say so. <laughs> ah, shit, this is going to be complicated, isn't it? All right, where was my blue? All right, we got blue. Prism! Alright, start simple. Blue, blue. Cool beans. Alright, we need that prism. What's over there? Ah. Uh. Nope, definitely need both two prisons for that. Alright, 
Where does this take me? So if I have a blue laser... Alright, so I can do that. Okay, what I need to do... Let me open this up. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let me hit those two. Awesome. I see. All right, I need to bring a fan with me. Um. Okay, we open this up. Meet up with this. So we can open this up. Plus, let's grab this. And this. Put that there. Then let's us do this. Chaining or popping off or popping off. Ooh. Hmm. One short. Alright, now we need to get the sky high one. So we're gonna need. We're gonna need our guys. We're gonna need our guys. Um... Start it.
make this try and make this an uber prism and see what happens. Alright, alright. Survey says. Survey says not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, could be better though. Slip up, but doesn't matter. Boom! Got them all. All right. Let's read the terminal. We'll hit the capsule, and I think we will call that a night. Um, Team diminishing by the day. Proud of them nevertheless. Archive now incomprehensibly huge, still missing thousands of works. Impossible to truly finish. Work already commenced on a sorting program to help catalog the archive resources in our absence. But like everything else, it has its foibles. Talk to Alexandria. Talos going well. Maybe the archive's first user will be terrestrial after all. Estimate about a week, maybe ten days, before I'm unable to keep working. A betrayal to leave early? Oh! Invention of Borders! Oh boy. Oh boy, is this fuck? Why did we hit this topic at the very fucking end? Anyway. <clears throat> what today's nationalists and neo-segregationists fail to understand... Kwame said, is that the basis of every human culture is, and always has been, synthesis. No civilization is authentic, monolithic, pure. The exact opposite is true. Look at your average Western nation. Its numbers Arabic, its alphabet Latin, its religion Levantine, its philosophy Greek. Need I continue? And each of these examples can itself be broken down further. The Romans got their alphabet from the Greeks, who created theirs by stealing from the Phoenicians, and so on. Our myths and religions, too, are syncretic. Sharing, repeating, adapting, a large variety of elements to suit their needs. Even the language of our creation, the DNA itself, is impure, defined by a history of amalgamation, not only between nations, but even between different human species tasks. 1. Discuss this excerpt in the context of Wolfgang Wolf's theory of transculture transculturality. Whoop. Whoop. Not what I meant to click on. Apocrypha. Now Uriel pointed his sword to the tree of life, which grew in the heart of dead Jerusalem. Behold, the tree grows still. Though the city is dead, within all that is mortal, there is the seed of immortality. For it is an immortal that fashioned it from chaos and void. Being a humble man of little wisdom, I ask, Great Uriel, are we not allowed to eat from the tree of life? How may we then be saved? And Uriel commanded me to stretch out my hand, and he gave me his fiery sword, which burned my hand, and he said, only by sacrifice can you free the world from the dominion of sin. With prayer on my lips, I fell upon Uriel's sword, and it pierced my heart. And truly, on my body, the stigmata of the Lord appeared, dripping blood that was not my blood onto the ground, and the seven heads of the dragon that were crowned in black clouds receded, and light fell upon this earth, and Jerusalem was born again. Thus the angels departed, having delivered their message, and I awoke in the fields of our fair land. Ha. God, there's no time. 
Just not enough time. Uh, we're trying to build the future out of old video game code and half-finished research projects. We should have had years, maybe decades, with the kind of money they used to put into building bombs. Uh, if I stop and think about how crazy this is, I will have a nervous breakdown. So I won't. Yeah, okay. Back to work, Alex. And so it is done. You have overcome each trial that I set before you. You have shown faith and wisdom and perseverance. Therefore, I judge you worthy, and I say unto you, come to the gates of eternity, where you shall be granted everlasting life. Man, that sounds like a really interesting and fascinating proposition that we will do at another time.